Incredible. They're even stronger than expected. The female Titan. Its greatest strength is its versatility. Not only does it boast a combination of high mobility and endurance, its hardened strikes are incredibly destructive. It's also able to summon pure Titans, though its range is limited. Leonhard is perfect. The armored Titan naturally specializes in defense, but if it charges at full speed, it can break through gates and walls alike. As Marley's shield it needs to stand tall where the fighting is thickest, it suits Brown's tenacious spirit. The Jaw Titan is an assault weapon. It's as speedy as it is small, with powerful claws and teeth that can crush almost anything. Marcel's sharp enough to keep up with it. The Beast Titan is more potent than ever. It's large and strong, but more importantly, it can outperform an artillery unit with nothing but a fistful of rock. What's more, its greatest power lies in its blood. The Cart Titan's outstanding endurance makes it well suited for lengthy missions on the field. Because it can hold its form for days on end, we've enhanced it with specialized equipment. Peak's superior judgment will serve well here. Finally, there's the Colossal Titan. It is a god of destruction. We trust that Huva can handle it. I feel bad for those island devils. That monster will appear from thin air and start killing them someday. We've been training the members of this warrior unit since they were practically infants. And it's clear that they're stronger for it. But why send these children to take the founding titan? Frankly, I think it's a bit insane. You think so? I'm not so sure. We did just watch these children bring a nation to its knees.